All right, what's up everyone? I'm Faloki, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Jamal Adams contract situation because there was a pretty big update yesterday, and I just want to give my thoughts on it a little bit. Now, of course, Jamal Adams is looking to be paid, and the Seattle Seahawks are looking to pay Jamal Adams. The one thing is, Jamal Adams wants to be the number one paid safety. The Seahawks don't want to pay him more than Bobby Wagner's being paid, so we can kind of see where the middle ground would be, somewhere between 16 and 18 million dollars. And an article from the Seattle Times came out and broke the news that the Seattle Seahawks and Jamal Adams are pretty keen on the salary of 17 and a half million. They've agreed on that, but they're at a standstill when it comes to the contract negotiations. There's a problem that doesn't come with the annual salary. There's a problem with the guaranteed money and something else. So the guaranteed money part, the Seahawks are trying to give Jamal Adams $38 million of guaranteed money on his $17.5 million a year deal for four years, which is, you know, a pretty decent chunk of change. But Jamal Adams and his team are looking to get $40 million in guaranteed money. And you might be thinking, $2 million, what, what's $2 million in the grand scheme of things? Now, I don't think this is really the big problem. The Seahawks are probably being a bit stingy because it says that they're not budging on their offer. They want to do the whole $38 million. They want to keep those extra $2 million for some ungodly reason. But I believe the bigger problem here when it comes to agreeing on the contract is the other thing that Jamal Adams and his team wants. Now, of course, $2 million when it comes to the NFL, when teams are making hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars per year, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. But the one thing that I do believe matters the most is the fact that Jamal Adams and his team are looking to spread the bonus money over the first three years rather than the entirety of the four years. Now, this is what I think the Seahawks don't want to accept whatsoever. I think the Seahawks are trying to spread it out over four years so they can continue to try and grow the team. They don't want to spend all their money in the first three years because that fourth year, then boom, you have another contract situation. He's already gotten paid all his money. You, you kind of have to figure it out once again. But the Seahawks, they want to spread it over the whole four years. You're guaranteed to get him to play for that entirety of the contract extension to get all of his money. Money. You also have a little bit more headroom when it comes to the cap to try and sign better players. But like I said before, you spread it over three years. You have a little bit less headroom. You have a little bit less options when it comes to signing players. You have less salary cap for the first three years, which are probably going to be the most important three years of the entire contract. And then the fourth year, Jamal Adams doesn't really have any guaranteed money that he needs to play for. And then boom, bang, pow you have him kind of holding out a bit. Now, I don't believe that this contract situation is going to be the biggest issue, but it's definitely something to look at because, you know, of course, it makes a lot of sense for the Seahawks to try and hold all of the bonus money for the entirety of the four years, and it makes a lot of sense for Jamal Adams to try and keep all that bonus money in the first three years. So, for both sides, this makes a ton of sense what either side wants. The $2 million, I don't think that's what is really bringing the whole contract situation down. They can easily go to $39 million and be completely fine, but I believe that this whole bonus money first three years or the entirety of the contract thing is what is holding the entire contract from happening and that is kind of sad because this is something that's really important this isn't like a two million dollar thing that you can easily get over where the Seahawks are like fine we'll give you a tiny bit more money this is something that is huge for the future of the team I mean he's getting paid a lot of money per year and the difference in spreading that over three years versus four years is obviously going to make a pretty decent dent when it comes to the Seahawks trying to sign some players so it makes sense why the Seahawks don't want to accept Jamal Adams terms right now but he kind of has the majority of the leverage the Seahawks gave up two first round picks a starting safety a third rounder but there is actually somewhat of a hypothetical situation where the Seattle Seahawks could have the leverage over Jamal Adams when it comes to this contract situation and I'm just going to go through it here I'm just going to read what the Seattle Times says so basically there is some leverage for the Seahawks they can play hardball specifically each side knows that the Seahawks could use the franchise tag on Jamal Adams for the next two years so he'd be playing on his contract this year he'd be playing on a franchise tag next year for $12.4 million, which would be less than the annual salary. And he'd be playing the next year on the tag as well for $15 million right around. That's all estimates from over the cap. So it could be higher, could be lower, depending on what the safety market is in the next two years. This would definitely be the right move, at least financially for the Seahawks, because you're paying him $37 to $38 million, which is what they were offering him for guaranteed money anyway, over the next three years. You're basically getting exactly what you wanted. But when it comes to actually the relationship, relationship between the team and the player probably wouldn't be the best idea just continuing to have a player on a one year you really don't know what's going to go on the next year type of situation Jamal Adams being a star safety he definitely is going to want that long term guaranteed money where he knows that he's going to be safe for the long run because he's putting his body on the line he's had a lot of injuries it makes sense why he wants the money but the Seahawks definitely do have some options when it comes to being able to keep him on the team if he doesn't want to accept their deal I just think that it would make most sense 
sense and it'd be most beneficial for you know the relationship between the player and the team if you just get the deal done find a way to meet in the middle maybe the seagulls can give him the 40 million dollars and try and still get him on that four years uh bonus money i mean if the seahawks did end up doing the whole franchise tag thing they'd have him until he was 28 he'd become a free agent then or maybe they could trade him before then the seahawks don't really use the franchise tag much so i don't really think this is going to be a very viable option for the seahawks financially it makes sense but you want to keep the relationship especially with a player like jamal adams who has really been seeming like he loves the seattle seahawks over this last season so he seems like he has a pretty good image of the seahawks right now you don't really want to ruin that and make him play any less hard than he normally would so i think that the seahawks and jamal adams situation is definitely a bit of a doozy right now it, it, to be completely honest russell wilson said that he'd be willing to restructure his contract to make this get done which honestly wouldn't help whatsoever i don't believe i, I don't think that russell wilson would help the contract situation between jamal adams and the seahawks right now or the Dwayne brown situation because both of them are going to be getting paid over the next few years and if russell wilson's already taking the brunt of his money right now might as well keep that right now rather than spread it to the future when all of them are going to be getting paid so i don't think russell wilson actually restructuring his contract would help with this situation but it, i think it's kind of uh, russell wilson saying hey i kind of want dwayne brown you should try and figure that out so i think that there, this is kind of causing a bit of an issue the more that the time goes on but i don't think it's actually that bad because i mean jamal adams wasn't going to play in the preseason dwayne brown's not going to play in the preseason russell wilson might get a total of five whole snaps in the preseason actually he'll probably get more because they're trying out a new offense but still you get the point dwayne brown isn't going to play in the preseason jamal adams isn't going to play in the preseason whether or not they have a contract it doesn't matter i don't think either of them would be playing or at least playing very much so right Right now, I think the Seahawks have time to get both of the deals done before the actual season starts. Dwayne Brown is definitely important. You want to keep Russell Wilson happy. You want to keep your offensive line as good as possible because we know what can happen if it's bad. And Dwayne Brown has been really the only shining light on the offensive line for the past few years. So we probably want to keep it that way. But we'll see what happens. The Seahawks need to get this one done so that they can start negotiating with Dwayne Brown so that they can make Russell Wilson happy so they can keep their offensive line good. Jamal Adams plays. He makes a lot of money. Dwayne Brown plays. He makes a lot of money. Russell Wilson in place he has an offensive line hopefully he does really well wins the mvp and who knows maybe the uh super bowl mvp as well that'd be pretty cool but that's gonna do it for this video let me know down below in the comments what you think about this situation i don't want to harp on the whole narrative that jamal is this crybaby or this drama queen that's just creating issues wherever he goes he said nothing but good things about the seahawks this season he said nothing but good things about the coaching staff this season for the seahawks i mean jamal adams wants to get paid and that makes sense he deserves the money the seahawks kind of have to give him the money the seahawks have some leverage but but it would be at the risk of completely ruining the relationship between the team and the players so i think that the deal is going to get done eventually uh, definitely before the season starts one side is going to have to cave in eventually the seahawks will be able to get jamal adams done and Dwayne brown russell wilson will be happy all will be good hopefully by the start of the season but we'll just have to see what happens both sides want something that's better for them they kind of have to work it out and meet in the middle so like i said let me know down below in the comments try and be a little nicer to jamal adams leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and with that i'd like to thank you for watching have a great day.